Hey, what's going on guys? Oz here. This is the custom class, create a class video, updated setups for you guys. So a lot of you guys have requested this, so I wanted to go ahead and show you my, you know, the classes that I tend to use now that I have hit Master Prestige. Hit Master Prestige about a week or two ago, and pretty much all I do now is I use these same exact classes that I'm about to show you. So here's what I'm working with. The PDW 57, I like to use this with the suppressor and adjustable stock together. Adjustable stock helps me move around the map a lot smoother, um, less chances of me getting caught with my sights down, always have my sights up, and then the PDW, 50 bullets, I can pretty much just spray through everybody. The perks that I use this with is Ghost to stay off the radar, I run it with flak jacket, no explosives. A lot of times when I, when I uh, whip out this class, I'm usually playing better players, and I'm playing against players where I do need to attack, attack, <laughs> where I attack the objective hard and a lot of times when they're already posted up around the B flags and they know you're coming they tend to chuck a lot of C4s out so that's why I always run flak jacket on this one now uh, run it with toughness because the PDW having 50 bullets you don't need scavenger and you're better off with toughness on this submachine gun win a lot more gunfights run it with tack mask also have a C4 and a tactical insertion this is the only tactical insertion class I have I don't use it too often but there's a lot of occasions where um, you know the enemies are are just uh, they're too deep and too you know too campy over at B flag and you need to whip this bad boy out. The next one I have is an MSMC class. I run it with quick draw handle and extended clip. MSMC only has 30 bullets, so you're really better off with extended on this one. That way you get 40 quick draw, raise your sight up faster. I combine that with the dexterity to raise up quicker off a of sprint. Also the extreme conditioning. I run this with toughness. Also lightweight and hard line. A really, really all-around good, aggressive class to use. I find that this actually works really good in ground war. Um, if I was playing 6v6, I might swap out the hard line for Ghost. Next one is this one that actually really shines in 6v6. It's pretty good for ground war, but this is what I always used when I was playing on slums and other maps such as that. It's the Vector. Vector is really solid as well. I like to use it with Suppressor and Fast Mag. However, when I play 6v6, sometimes I do this. For the same reason I had the PDW, I like to strafe around corners. It just helps me get caught off guard a lot less when I run that on the submachine gun because you can still move pretty fast. Obviously, using Ghost to stay off the radar. I got Hardline on this one. Toughness of Scavenger, the real key to using the Vector since it does require more bullets to kill than some of the other submachine guns. The damage is not as high. It does have a fast fire rate. Combine it with toughness, you're going to win a lot more gunfights. Also have tack mask because you don't want to be hit by those nasty shock charges when you're rushing in. The next one is something that I've really been playing with a lot. This is kind of what I use when I play solo. I use this class more than anything right now, except maybe the LSAT class that I'm going to show you next. What it is, the A94, I got stock, I got suppressor, I got fast mag. Really good ground war class. If I was playing 6v6, I might take off the fast mag and maybe add in quick draw handle. Um, I'm running this with hard lining ghost, toughness, and tack mask. Next class is the LSAT. This is the one that you, the exact class that you see in all of my videos. Uh, LSAT, stock, suppressor, quick draw handle. The stock and the lightweight basically makes this like an assault rifle with 100 bullets. Combine that with quick draw handle and you don't notice the slow raise time at all. It actually raises up pretty decently compared to the other weapons in the game. Another key to this class is toughness. You don't need to run scavenger. You don't need to run anything else except toughness on this one. That way you can just spray through everybody. 100 ammo, you're a tank. Absolute tank. I really like this class. Sometimes I'll swap lightweight for flag jacket, but for the most part, I do run it with lightweight to maximize my potential with it. Next one is the M8. Now, when you play against guys who are running light machine guns against you, and, they're, and you notice they're moving around the map, they're not camping with target finders, but they're moving with light machine guns, kind of like I do with this LSAT, the counter to that is you can either run the, the, uh, the light machine gun as well, but if they're better than you with the light machine gun, you want to beat them, whip out this M8. It's pretty much a one burst except from extreme distances. I use the reflex sight for added accuracy, the adjustable stock to get caught with my sight up all the time. Never get caught with your sight down with the M8, even with quick draw. There's just too much potential for you to, to um, you know, get snuck up on and whatnot. So I always aim around the corners with the M8. Four round burst, it's pretty hard to stop if, if, you, uh, if you see them first and get first shot into them. 
I use this song Round War. If I was playing 6v6, like I said, I might swap it out for either uh, Quick Draw or possibly the FMJ. I don't like to select fire. It adds too much recoil. You're better off just like this. Flat Jacket, Toughness, Scavenger, Tack Mask. Next one is a really good class. Um, I use the SWAT two different ways. I use it with Select Fire and Suppressor. I fully auto this thing and I burst it rounds of like five or six, which is like, it's basically the equivalent of two quick bursts with a SWAT. But since the SWAT naturally, it's a burst weapon, it fires kind of slow. I throw on the Select Fire and I just, I shoot the equivalent of about two bursts, like I said. And uh, it actually works out pretty good for me. I, I keep stock on it. Sometimes I'll do fast mag. Sometimes I won't use any of this, and I'll take off the third attachment, add on maybe a, a C4 or something, but um, this is how I have it currently, Hardline Toughness Scavenger Attack Mask. This is pretty much a standard setup for me uh, for Ground War. I either take off Scavenger and only run Toughness and add on Flak Jacket or Ghost, or I'll just run it just like this with only Hardline and Scavenger and Toughness. Next one is a real good objective class. You've actually seen this in a lot of my videos, the videos where I had 22 flag caps, over 20 caps, 10K score. Uh, run the assault shield. Um, you run it, with, and here's the key to it, you run it with flat jacket and attack mask, so you can't be stunned, you can't be grenaded, or it's not easy to grenade you. Run it with fast hands for the, for the fast swap, not only for your gun, but also for your equipment. And also run this with scavenger, so you can replenish these lethals and tacticals. Run it with C4, EMP nade, EMP nade um, so that you can destroy enemy equipment also so once you call in your VSAT by the way I use this class with non-lethals when you call in the VSAT you throw the EMP nade you get 50 points for every assist off the EMP nade that's why I use this also the vector is a really really strong secondary weapon when used here it has a high fire rate I don't use it with suppressor that way I can get the maximum firepower out of it um, I don't advise adding any attachments like long barrel. Just keep it just like this. Keep a well-balanced class. Works out really good. I have my target finder class in case people start playing like bitches. Most of the time I don't need it because I'll use the LSAT class and I can pretty much take them out a lot faster. But sometimes, you know, just to be an asshole back, I'll run the target finder with the FMJ. FMJ is crucial on this class. Also run it with stock. Stock is also very crucial so you can strafe and, and not only so you can strafe and, and be uh, stealthy around the map in ADS corners but so when somebody's shooting at you and you're shooting at them and they're getting the best of you you can strafe out of the way and, and you don't get killed very very important also run this with flak jacket because it's loud ass light machine gun no suppressor you're gonna be on the radar pretty much the whole time anyways run it with hard line hit my kill streaks faster toughness is really important on this target finder class the default target finder class comes with cold blooded you want to run this bad boy with toughness so that you are you pretty much have a laser beam gun and you don't flinch. Tack mask as well. Last class, I actually changed this one today because I was streaming on PS3. Now, I want to comment about this. I haven't tried it on Xbox since I used this class on PS3. But on PS3, it felt like my MTAR. Again, felt like. I'm not saying it does. It felt like my MTAR had less recoil and it hit harder than it did on the Xbox. I don't know why that is, but this is the class I was using on PS3. And this is something I'm gonna probably use a lot more on the PS3. I'll try it on an Xbox when I do an Xbox stream. What it is, MTAR, just like my AN94 class, I got stock, suppressor, fast mag. I run it with hardline, toughness, scavenger, toughness, very, very important on this class. Scavenger because I tend to go on long kill streaks and I run out of ammo, so I don't like the the 120 ammo that the you know the game gives you, and sometimes I like to pick up more. I don't like to use other people's stuff because you can pick up you know like pistols and snipers, and that's not good for me. But anyways, guys, these are the classes that I use. These are working out really really well for me, as you guys have seen in my live streams. So I highly recommend these. Anyways, that's my custom classes. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.